Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin and we are back with the Google Wi-Fi because a lot of you were curious as to whether or not these remote units can connect back up with the main router unit via Ethernet cables versus connecting wirelessly. So to recap what we did in the last video, uh, we had this node down here in the basement connecting wirelessly to my kitchen, which was about a floor above, and then the kitchen was connecting wirelessly to the bedroom. So all of our traffic that came out of this computer right here uh, was going to this device, transmitted wirelessly upstairs, which was then transmitted wirelessly again, uh, 60 feet over to the bedroom. And while it worked and worked actually pretty reliably, uh, the speeds were not as good as they could be if we were actually connecting these remote nodes via an ethernet cable and not have all of the wireless interference and bottlenecks that you get uh, when you're doing this kind of wireless backhauling to your uh, main router. So I reached out to Google and uh, they responded very quickly and said, yes, all you have to do initially is just get the uh, device paired up with the main unit wirelessly. And then after that, if you plug an ethernet cable into any one of the ethernet ports on the uh, bottom of the remote unit, it will transmit its traffic over the wire uh, versus actually doing it over the air. You don't have to do any configuration to get that to work. And in fact, when I connected the network cable up to the remote node, uh, my connection signal strength in the app went from fair to good, uh, good being the best outcome you can get because we were now uh, transiting all of our data via the wire here and not over the air. So now that we've got this thing connected up via ethernet, we're gonna run over to my computer, which is right next to the device here, and we're going to push some data wirelessly uh, over to this node that is right next to it and see how fast it goes back to the mothership. And as you can see here, we're uh, pushing about half a gigabit per second now uh, versus 80 megabits before. So 543 megabits per second uh, versus 86, relying on that wireless hopping. So you can see uh, what an advantage hooking up up an ethernet cable to your remote node is. Now to get this to work, you do need to connect uh, your main router unit to your network via this ethernet jack here. So remember on your main router unit, uh, this ethernet jack is bringing in the internet from your cable modem or DSL modem, and you need to have some way to get uh, the rest of it onto your wired network. So what I've done in this uh, little test I've been running is actually connecting this via ethernet to something called a Mocha adapter. And I did a whole review on these units. I'll put a link down below to them. And what they do is they turn your cable television wiring into computer wiring. So you can take uh, ethernet out of here, you plug it into one of those little Mocha boxes, uh, it will then take that uh, data, send it over your cable television wiring to another Mocha box on the other side where your router is located. It converts it back to Ethernet and then you are uh, back out on the network with it and it works tremendously well. You just saw the speeds we were getting. Uh, Mocha 2.0 devices run at a gigabit per second over cable TV wiring and it will work alongside your existing television service. So there's really no loss to uh, hooking this up, especially if you have the wiring already in place around your home. So you'll definitely get uh, better speeds out of your uh, Google Wi-Fi devices here if you have Ethernet in the rooms that you're trying to extend to or uh, you have an existing cable television jack. These Mocha devices do not work though uh, with uh, satellite television, only regular uh, traditional cable television service. But uh, if you have a bunch of wiring sitting around your house, not in use, like in my house, I don't use the cable TV wiring for TV anymore. Uh, I have a lot of great uh, capacity here for getting data uh, more reliably transmitted around my home. So a really good way to get uh, these devices uh, some wired connections. And it seems like uh, this is probably the best way to use these if you can. So if you can find some way to get ethernet to your remote nodes, or you can set up one of those Mocha boxes, uh, you're going to have a great experience experience with these things. They're already great as they are doing the wireless hopping, but as you saw here, we got tremendously better speeds by uh, getting some wired networking to each of these remote nodes, and they work identically to the way they worked wirelessly uh, to each other. So really cool product. I like the fact that they've taken all of the configuration out of your hands, just plug the wire in and you're good to go. So really cool stuff. I do want to mention, because I didn't mention this at the outset, that uh, these devices were provided free of charge to the channel by Google. However, nobody paid for this review. All the opinions you just heard were my own, and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. I should also mention that the Action Tech adapters that I use for the uh, Mocha connections were also provided by the channel free of charge uh, from Action Tech, but the same disc uh, disclaimer applies there as well. They didn't pay for this and didn't review this content either before it was posted. If you got more questions on this, do leave them down in the comments below. And this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month.
Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.